Hey folks, Kevin back with MTG to go. I wanted to post a little um, review video, uh, do some deck box reviews, uh, check out some stuff that I like and that I use. Um, and this is all stuff that we sell right here at Blue Shell Gaming. I'm at Blue Shell Gaming right now, working today, kind of slow, raining outside. Figured I'd uh, do a little review video, have some fun, show you guys some cool stuff. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen a lot of these deck boxes before. Some of you guys may use them, um, but I wanted to go over them, talk about what I like about them, what I don't like about them, um, and everything in between. So these are the four I'm gonna review. We got three Ultra Pros and then one Dragon Shield box. Um, so let's start with probably the most common deck box that you'll find out there. This is the standard Ultra Pro deck box. Pretty simple, pretty basic, you know, polyurethane, um, plastic flip top. Um, this is one that I've been using for a while. You can see, you know, it's got a little bit of wear on there, a little bit of wear on the top. Um, one thing I've noticed is that get a little crease in here where it gets some pressure on it. Um, but I mean, other than that, for the price, you can't really go wrong for these these uh, MSRP at $1.99, and they come in like 20 plus colors. Um, these are a few color options. They, I mean, you pretty much any color under the sun you can think of. They probably got one. They got variants of different colors and clears, and um, I like to stick with the the black. It's kind of the standard of, of what I like. Um, size on this is a little strange um, you can see I got a 60 card standard deck in here with a separated sideboard 15 card sideboard and I mean it's it's pretty full these are single sleeved cards I have room for maybe like you know if I had some Thopter tokens or some you know zombie tokens or Eldrazi or something like that I could fit you know maybe 10, 15 to 10 tokens in there, unsleeved. Um, these are all single sleeved cards too. These aren't double sleeved cards. So got 60 card deck, 15 card sideboard. Um, I have found that if I have even, you know, 10 of the cards double sleeved, um, they're really hard to get back in. Um, so if you're playing, you're just starting out, you're building standard 60 card deck, 15 card sideboard, um, and you're not double sleeving your cards like most of the cards in here. I think, you know, Zula Port's probably the, the most valuable card I have in this deck. Uh, I took out all my good stuff before I started this video because I did have some double sleeved cards in here and they did make it pretty tight. So, without the double sleeved cards, um, you can see holds pretty well, but I will say um, 80 cards would be the capacity sleeved. This is 75 right now. Um, you know, like I said, you could probably fit maybe 10 unsleeved tokens in there. Um, but for two bucks to put your cards in it and have something to take with you to your FM, something to play on, um, you know, these are really the staple of uh, magic when it comes to just a real basic deck box to get you by. No bells, no whistles, no frills, just a deck box, just something to take. All right, let's see. Let's look at uh, let's look at the the nesting deck vault next. Ultra Pro's nesting deck vault. This is the Dark Side of the Oz series. Um, these come in like five or six varieties. I gotta jump up, grab a couple of the other ones I got here. I have the uh, the Tin Man, the Cowardly Lion, and the Scarecrow. There's a one with the monkey and some uh, of the other Wizard of Oz characters. These are also made by Ultra Pro. These are made out of metal. Um, and I mean, as you can see, they are taller and also fatter than because they have these rounded corners instead of the square edges. So they need a little bit more room in order to hold the same amount of cards, I guess you would say. 
we're going to open it up here and take a look at it because there's no reason not to. How do we review something without playing with it? I've played with one of these before. Not a huge fan of the deck vaults, but just so you guys can see what they look like. I'll just leave the sleeve on. Um, so the reason they're taller than your standard deck box is because they have this vault on the top and you can just slide it right out. It's basically just a cubby and then this slides out this way. And this is where you put your, your counters, your tokens, your um, any uh, dice or anything you'd have to play with. Put them in your little vault there. Um, I have heard that some of the G20s, like the, the ones that you get out of your fat packs, don't like these. Let's give it a shot. Nope, nope they go in just fine. So, Depending on how many, you know, dice encounters you have, it's not the hugest, you know, space. You could, you know, fit a few in there. It's not terrible either, but it does give you some somewhere to to keep your your dice encounters. Now, when it comes to the inside of this guy, these rounded corners always scare me. And I know the original design of these had the lip on the inside instead of the outside. Now the lips out here uh, used to be on the inside and cards used to catch. But um, as you can see, they don't catch anymore. But And there is a significant amount more space in there than there was inside of the standard deck box. So I would dare to say that you could fit 100 cards single sleeved in here, uh, but it'd be tight fit. One thing I don't like is these rounded edges because if your cards are crushing against the sides and they're, it's overfilled, they're gonna tend to bend those around those corners. Um, and your top just slides on, which is another thing I don't like because it pops open pretty easily. Not a lot of protection in here from cards sliding out. Um, and then, yeah, you get that, where you slide out your deck and then, oh wait, there's more cards hiding in there. Um, they're not getting caught on the lip anymore, but they are kind of sticking. There is this really ugly um, metal piece, protrusion, and there's a little gap right around the bottom edge where the bottom of sleeves can stick into and kind of get stuck. Um, as far as aesthetics and design, they do offer these in a pretty wide variety of, of styles. This, Like I said, this is the Dark Side of the Oz version. They have other versions from other um, designers and artists and uh, different things like that. So you can kind of get these to fit and they kind of got a cool little metallic uh, shine to them. Um, they are going to give you more protection than this plastic polyurethane sleeve box because you're gonna protect your cards that way but what I'm worried more about is what's happening to your cards inside with those rounded edges and those metal corners and um, I don't know I don't know I'm not sold on that one but it is an option and some people like having their their dice in a separate compartment and what's nice too is you take your lid off and you can set it on the side and you can use it you know, it kind of sits there, it's it's able to be used as a separate compartment and not just like a bag where you're dumping them on the table. So, there's that. Um, let's go ahead and save the best for last and let's move on to the Dragon Shield Gaming Box. Um, goods and bads on the Dragon Shield Gaming Box. One of the, uh, one of the serious positives on it is it's a uh, sturdy design. I mean, it's made out of really hard plastic. Um, and when this thing slides together, it's really not, not coming apart unless you give it, unless you hold this edge and, and really just shake it down. Um, so this hard plastic, um, the, the issue I have with it is what it reminds me of is when I used to buy baseball and football cards. This, used, this reminds me of the clear plastic containers that I would put my baseball cards in. This doesn't remind me of something you would use for playing a card game. Um, I mean, it's really all it is. It's the same clear plastic 
deal that you would put your baseball cards in, except for it's a little bit wider and taller and it's designed for, for your sleeved cards. Um, one of the nice things about this box in particular is that um, Dragon Shield offers them in a wide variety of colors. You can, I mean, this is a small sampling of what we have here in the shop. Um, I think they offer like 15 or 20 colors. A lot of these are gonna be the, the clear versions. Um, they have some solid ones. You can get a solid, this is the solid black, the clear black. This is the solid black. They have a clear black also, and they have you know clear or solid white, and then a, a, a regular clear. So there's some cool colors you can get. Um, one of the other nice things is you can put not just 100 sleeved cards in here, but 100 double sleeved cards in here. So this is great for commander players. Um, the only disadvantage I think is if you put 100 sleeve cards in here, there isn't room for tokens. Sorry about that. I had to take a couple phone calls and the customer came in. So, um, I'm trying to remember where I was at. I'm talking about Dragon Shield boxes, talking about cool colors. Oh, 100, 100 cards double sleeved. Um, but yeah, if you have tokens or anything like that, um, you probably won't be able to fit them in there on top of that. Um, and for me, it just feels clunky it's just like cheap plastic um it just reminds me too much of baseball card holders <laughs> i don't know i don't know why i don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing but for me i just don't i wouldn't want to put my my expensive magic gaming cards in one of these and uh i felt i feel like if it fell and it dropped and hit the ground this plastic would crack really easily whereas the the polyurethane is not going to crack and the, the metal tin i mean it might bend but it's not going to break um this is going to break if it falls on the ground it's going to crack it's going to crack severely it could crack in half um if it fell far enough or long enough I mean your cards could be in danger they do say they're strong sturdy stackable um, they, t they brag on their website about how strong and sturdy they are um, but for me it's it just it seems cheap I don't know um, I got one of the guys that one of the other owners here blue shell he puts his commander deck in here he's got a lot of really good cards in it he loves it it's a great thing so the last deck box I wanted to talk about was the satin uh, tower deck, deck box from Ultra Pro. Um, you know, I know I've talked bad about this Ultra Pro deck box and said some bad things about this Ultra Pro deck box, but um, Ultra Pro does make good products. They make a lot of stuff for Magic, and this is by far the best deck box I've used, and I've used quite a few. I have, you know, this is, I mean, I, this is in my backpack as one of the deck boxes that I use pretty regularly. I have the Pro Duel deck box from Ultra Pro also. I use this for a lot of cards, extra cards and stuff that I take with me to Friday Night Magics and stuff, but this is my personal white satin tower deck box. And let me tell you, since I started using this, I don't think there is any other deck box that I would use. Um, I've seen some really cool stuff from uh, Ultimate Guard recently and uh, like the Xeno skin boxes and stuff. I'm gonna get my hands on some of those and maybe do a review on those too, but um, for the money, um, you can't really get any better than this. MSRP is at $10.99. They come in a variety of colors. Um, there's 13 colors available. These are a few we have at the shop right now. I have you know, a lime green one, a blue one, and this is one of the metallic finishes. It's got kind of this really cool speckled metallic finish on it. Um, they do have quite a few different styles in the metallic. And they got solids. You get your blacks, your whites, your reds. Um, and then they got like the limes and pinks and purples. and um, so pretty cool variety as far as you know anybody who would want to get something to their color preference um dive into it a little bit more let's uh, we'll just open up mine and look at it one of the things i really like about it is um it it's not the easiest deck box to open and some people would say why, why do you like that well because i know it's not going to fall like it's not going to fall apart it's not going to fall open um this is a really cool deck box and if you can see in here i have 60 card standard deck, 15 card sideboard, um, with a divider, a heavy duty divider, and I would say probably 50% of these cards are double sleeved. I mean, you can see some are and some aren't. Most of, I mean, most of all the cheap cards aren't, and all of the valuable cards are. All my commands, all my fetch lands, all that stuff, and I still can stick my entire 
big old fat sausage fingers right in there. I mean, 100 cards, double sleeved, wouldn't be any problem in this deck box, and it would still probably have some room to breathe. Um, one of the cool things about this is, is you set this up, you uh, you know, you take out your deck to play, and you can kind of leave this your sideboard kind of as a you know in the side. It can sit there. You can put it off to the side while you're playing. Um, just a really cool um, setup on that. Super sturdy. It's got this really nice like matted rubberized finish it's it's hard plastic but it's rubberized on the outside so i mean it's got it really absorbs the uh the fall if, if something did happen um and then my favorite part also pretty difficult to open but i think it's a positive because you don't want this thing flying apart if it falls um is the bottom case and this is where you keep all your dice encounters and so i mean it comes apart three pieces you have your deck area, your top piece, and then your your counter tray, um, and then you just kind of stack it back up, and it's all ready to go. Um, really cool uh, deck box, just really cool bright silver um, logos on it. It's got a kind of embossed logos here. Nothing on the bottom, so it lays perfectly flat. Um, and so then, I mean, you really set up, you set up your game and you run, you run back to back to back like that. This is how I run mine at least. And then you throw, you know, your sideboard stays in here while you're playing. You have your counters in the front and, uh, you can really just lay out, uh, if you have any tokens or anything. So you can just set this up on the side right here and then you can, you can play your match here while you have this setting on the side of your, your play mat. Um, and then when you're ready to go, drop your deck back in. And it's just one, two, and you're ready to go. So, Ultra Pro Satin Deck Box, by far the best uh, that I've used. Um, 100 plus cards, sleeved and even double sleeved. You can fit a double sleeved commander deck in here very easily. Um, and it holds a good amount of dice counters. Um, I don't think I need any more than this, and I probably don't need this many D20s. I could put some more D6s in there. I could put some um, tokens in there, pretty much anything I want. And there's still room on the top. You could almost double, uh, there's a little bit of room actually in here, so you could double stack those and still close it. Um, but 1099 MSRP, you know, it's the most expensive of the four we looked at today, but for what you get, the value of it, astronomical comparison. Um, flat edges inside, won't bend your cards, won't damage any of your stuff. Um, just by far my favorite deck box to use. So these are just my opinions, of course. Um, if you guys feel differently, if you like one more than the other, or if there's a deck box that you really like that you think I should try, um, please let me know in the comments. Please uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, watch my pack openings, some of the other booster box openings I have. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some more pack openings while I'm in the shop today. Um, we got a box of Origins here. I might just grab out a handful of packs and open some stuff up just so I can see what's cool in there and show you guys some cool pack openings. Um, if you want to see any other review videos, if you liked my review, if you hated my review, if you think I'm an idiot, let me know. Um, I'm just doing this for fun and uh, that's it. Have a good one. Bye.